In the developed world, scientists grew weary and tired of studying to develop drugs that are effective for diseases that affect the developing world, such as malaria. You can see it on his face. He's tired. Scientists in the developing world are researching information on compounds that are effective against diseases, but their research is actually reinventing the wheel. If they collaborate with the scientists of the developed world, this research can go so much faster. GlaxoSmithKline, for instance, has surrendered all copyrights in its malarial data set of more than 13,500 compounds known to be active against malaria. According to Timothy Wells, Chief Scientific Officer on the Medicines for Malaria of Ventia, this level of access could start a new trend that would revolutionize the urgent search for medicines to tackle malaria. The motivation is to produce drugs quickly that are also cheap and effective. Here we have your typical situation. This guy is going to be tortured every night, 24-7 every second by mosquitoes. It's only a matter of time before you get sick. Through the Creative Commons, scientists are going to be able to develop drugs that are effective against these diseases and which will be accessible by individuals such as this one. It's a simple problem, but a simple solution. And that's why we need the Creative Commons. It's open source, not just for information, but for ideas, for music. And its applications are limitless. In no time, this guy is going to be able to go back to work. He's going to be able to earn for his family, and he's going to be a productive citizen sharing this great world of ours where great ideas can do great things.